Radio. X. Ellis James and John Robbins. Now, here, live, is Queen with David Bowie um, with the hit Under Pressure, which was Queen's first number one since Bohemian Rhapsody and their, their final one before Innuendo. Uh, it was recorded abroad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John Deacon came up with the the bass line. They went out, they had a few drinks, yeah, they look. forgot it, Roger Taylor remembered it, then they recorded it, Freddie and... Uh, the food and, was very... Uh, the Fred, food was weird, because it was abroad, and, and they had to put their toilet paper no, in the stop, bin. Stop adding <laughs> adding fiction into my factual narrative. Sorry. Uh, they couldn't drink the water or eat the salad, because no, they, they were could. abroad. No, the, the Ice thing, cubes they were in were Spain. Shut up. Uh, they, uh, Freddie and though. what I'm trying to say, they were drinking red wine, Dave, <laughs> is that Freddie and David Bowie were in separate booths and they weren't allowed to listen to each other and they mashed it up afterwards. But then Freddie realised that David Bowie had been listening to him to get a sneak peek of his uh, umbaba days. And then they all had a paella. Oh, and then oh, Freddie stuff. used an amusing but camp swear word that I can't say on air. It was the worst one, but in a loving way. <laughs> Brian kind of did, never fell in love with the track and left the recording because he got angry that there wasn't enough guitar in it and always oh. wanted to remix it, but oh. never did, thank okay, God. OK, and the only two words Roger Taylor learnt were por favor and gracias, but that was fine because it was the oh, 80s. That's not true. He had a lady in every port. Yeah, <laughs> listening to Radio X. Including Biarritz, where he had many ladies, I'm guessing. But I, it's an educated guess. Trabia. This <laughs> is Queen slash David Bowie with Under Pressure. Radio X. Ellis James and John Robbins. <laughs>